right, buddy? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, uh, you want to tell him? <laughs> you should tell him. I, well... Did I do something stupid last night? <laughs> no. Uh, not that I can remember, no. <laughs> I personally would have gone wild if I was getting married. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but don't worry, this won't leave the room. Yeah, we promise, we won't tell him. You two are confusing the fuck out of me. If I didn't do anything, what's to be kept secret? <laughs> you shit the bed, man. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> you started shaking. We thought you were having a bad dream. And all of a sudden you were like... <clears throat> <clears throat> Go shower, man, so you can get some breakfast. <laughs> How do you shit the bed while you asleep? <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> he better hope that doesn't happen during his honeymoon. <laughs> Fine. Are you sure I I made my meatballs? You're funny. So they upset your stomach a little bit. What's the big deal? Isn't that a good enough reason? No. No, it isn't. This is because of that cougar girlfriend of yours, isn't it? That's what this is about. She's my fiance. Okay. You know, I made them because I figured you'd want them after a big night of drinking. You always said they were your favorite for a hangover. They still are, all right? How can you be planning to marry a woman you can't even fart around? Seriously, John? Thanks for the support. I'll put them in some Tupperware, then you can take them to your apartment. Definitely gonna like it, John. It's super clean, brand spanking new. This is the one with two bedroom, two bath, right? Two and a half bath. Oh, really? Yeah, man, I got your back. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, let me call you back later on, all right? Yeah, sure thing. Hey, what are you doing? Giving you a hug. Not with those hands. Give me them. So, what are you going to tell me? What do you mean? I know it's supposed to be a secret and all, and I get that. But I'm curious as to how your night went. There's nothing to say, really. You're totally lying. I'm really not. Um, <laughs> typical bachelor party stuff. A couple of dudes out drinking, having a good time. Oh, I bet. Go ahead and ask Will then. I just might. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? He better just be going number one or I am gonna freak out. Oh, God! John, go tell him to stop, please. You want me to tell the dog to stop? Now he's picking it up. Why don't you just look away? He's gone now. <sighs> God! So, 
If I were to ask Will about your knife, is there anything he'd leave out for your sake? I doubt it. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I stopped in and finalized everything with Matt. On my way here, we're good to go. He isn't trying to sell you insurance again, is he? What? Oh, no, he's not. That's insurance for their honeymoon. Morning. Hey, Thompson. Good morning. See any good movies over the weekend? No, I was pretty busy this weekend. Didn't get a chance to. How about you? Mm. Have you ever seen the movie Train Spotting? Your mom let you watch that? So I'm guessing you have. Did that bathroom scene make you want to puke or what? Hey, you survived. Just barely. <laughs> Just barely survived what? His bachelor party was this weekend. It was that wild, huh? Like the hangover? It didn't get that out of hand. <laughs> and that's because you didn't invite me. <laughs> I made brownies for everyone and I know they're your favorite, so I made a special batch just for you. You didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. Pretty sure they're still moist in the middle. Uh, well. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. See you around, John. Do you know how much I would pay to have her look at me like that? What? Uh, no. <laughs> you, um, you can't speak to me like I'm one of your friends. Have you ever seen the movie That's My Boy? I'm trying to be the new Donnie Burger, man. What you need to do is spend more time studying. Is everything all right? You're not normally like this. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? What do they call it? Cold feet, right? What? You're getting married soon, right? Yeah, soon. Why? Are you sure you're ready to get married? You seem a bit young. A 14-year-old expert on marriage. Groundbreaking. My mom once showed me this article that it's like, you're three times more likely to get a divorce if you get married under the age of 25. And? Aren't you like 24? Yeah. Couldn't go. That's a first. It's probably just the nerves. Want a beer? You alright, man? I want to tell her. What? Like right now? Yeah. Why? Because my condition is a big deal to me. <sighs> so you shit more than other people. Who cares? It's not the point. Fuck it, I'm gonna tell you. I think you should save that conversation for another time. Another time? Um, yeah, you're getting married, man. Good point. Save it for the honeymoon, at least. There you go. No, it's gotta be now. Dude. I'm doing this. I need to tell her. Where are you going? I, uh, I need to see Lisa. Are you sure you want to do that? It's true what they say, you know. Can you give us a minute, please? Everything okay? Um, not exactly. No. Did you forget to eat? What? Your stomach just growled. Are you hungry? Before you told me you loved me for the first time, you made me promise that I'd never lie to you, and I have to tell you something. 
I knew you lied about the bachelor party. I knew it! I know you so well. I know you better than you know yourself. Do you know how many millions of bacteria are just in that one? Oh no, it's coming. So how long have you been dealing with your depression? Longer than I've wanted to. Okay. Can you help me? Do you know what may be causing this ongoing depression? Something I can't control. And that would be... I'm not seeing it written down here. My, uh... My IBS. Irritable bowel syndrome? I get it. Nobody takes me seriously. No. No, I apologize. I know all about it. Well, not personally. But I do understand. A kind of thing like that can be detrimental to one's life. Tell me about it. But your depression could actually be more harmful. kind of why I came here. I have a thought. It's just a thought, no guarantees. Okay. How about joining a support group? A support group? Yeah. Like a group of people dealing with similar struggles, share stories, be there for one another? You're kidding, right? No. There's support groups for everything these days. Google it. So what am I supposed to search for? Shitters Anonymous? If I'm wrong, I'll refund you for this session. Okay. Can we help you? Sorry for interrupting. Uh, I'm just looking for the support group. Come on in. Have a seat. So, what's your name? John. Five card stud, you in? Sure. So, what's going on, John? Well, 
My therapist suggested I join a support group. Said it might help. Help in what way? Help bring my spirits up. I don't know, really. Life really that bad, son? Well, I can't go anywhere unless I know there's a bathroom nearby. Within 30 minutes of eating, I have to run to the toilet. Well, you know, it could be worse. Huh? Six months ago, I left a fart. Well, let me rephrase that. I attempted to leave what I thought was just going to be a fart. Well, it turns out it wasn't. Anyway, I go to change my underwear, and there's blood in my stool. Doctor says it's colon cancer. But what does he know, right? Um, I'm sorry. Hey, I... I'm just kidding. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a good one. John, forgive us our manners. I'm Ed. This is Fibs. Don't believe a word comes out of his mouth. So I'm assuming this isn't the support group. No, it is. Well, sort of. Cooked it up as an excuse to get away from the wives. Ah. Well, I have made quite a fool of myself here then, haven't I? You know what your problem is, John? It's not your IBS. You're more worried about what other people think about you. You're young. Don't enjoy life. Don't be scared. You know what? In the strangest way, you've lifted my spirits. Thanks, guys. Hey, John. We're here this time every week, in case you were wondering. Hey, uh, don't come back now, you hear? You want another beer? Sure. Thank you. No, thank you. It's nice to have some company. I've been very lonely. Well, yeah, it's good to see you. It's been a while. You've missed me, haven't you? I have missed everything in general. The students. My life sucks. Maybe I can cheer you up. What do you say? Really? Follow me. Why don't you make yourself comfortable? I gotta pee real quick. Okay, yeah. Um, take your time. I gotta run to my car anyway. For what? I left them in the car. I didn't want you to think I was expecting anything. <laughs> You're sweet. There's some in the drawer.
I forgot to lift the lid up. <laughs> Wouldn't have been that big of a deal to clean up, except she had one of those um, decorative things on it. Oh, like the, um, the blush top ones? Knitted by her late grandmother. I'm going to be alone the rest of my life, aren't I? Let me ask you something. How much do you know about IBS? Well, I know I basically can't do anything a normal person can do without having to run to the bathroom. What's your diet like? I'm not on a diet. You should go see her. She helped me lose a ton of weight a few years ago. She knows her stuff. A dietitian. I don't think my weight is the problem here. It's not, but maybe the foods you're eating are. I don't see how that could possibly make a difference. Water practically makes me go. Well, take it or leave it. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, huh, that's okay. So, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, you're just not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, uh, what were you expecting? Well, honestly, someone in her late 50s, maybe. Um, <laughs> Is that all? Um, I mean, someone less attractive? <laughs> a lot less. <laughs> You're cute. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, so how can I help you out? What? Well, you're a young guy, and you appear to be at a comfortable weight. So what seems to be your reasoning for seeking a dietitian? All right. Um, this is kind of embarrassing. Um, it was suggested I see a dietitian to help me with my IBS. You have nothing to be embarrassed about. We'll, we'll figure this out. Thank you for being so kind. <laughs> okay, well, with IBS, the biggest factor, if you didn't already know, is what you're putting into your body. Right, so I, I should stay away from, like, fast food and things like that? Like, that's a start. <laughs> okay, what else do you suggest? Um, you might want to consider staying away from barley, rye, and wheat. Okay, um... So what things are those in? Um, well, why don't you give me an example of a, of a typical dinner you have, you know? Right. Um, pasta, chicken fingers and fries, uh, maybe a sandwich of, you know, some sort. You know, varies really. I like to mix it up. Um, you know, it might sound like an awful idea, but... I'd recommend going gluten-free and see if you notice any difference. Gluten-free? It's not as bad as it sounds. You know, studies have shown it's really helped those with IBS and celiac disease. 
So you're saying I need to become one of those people who can't eat bread or pasta? <sighs> um, what are you doing this afternoon? Uh, nothing. Why? I was thinking I could help you out, you know, take you to the store, show you some options. You sure? Sure. I'll take a long lunch. So what kind of food does this place have? Well, alternatives to what you're already used to, only these won't upset your stomach. So like what? Like quinoa? Quinoa? what? Quinoa. It like it's similar to like rice, you know, kinda. S sorta. <laughs> you make a hell of a saleswoman, let me tell you. Do you want my help or not? Are you sure you don't need a hand? Nope, I'm okay. <laughs> really. Alright, well, I gotta get back, but let me know how it goes in a few days. Yeah, I definitely will. <laughs> Great. Do you want to have dinner with me? Well, uh, I... <laughs> yeah, um, I just... I bought so much food, I probably won't eat it all before it goes bad. <laughs> You'll be fine. Can I have your number, at least? I'll, uh... Send you a Snapchat of the things I cook or something. <laughs> What's your number? 267 391 8309. Talk to you later, John. Thanks for your help, Aubrey. Did I say you could call me by my first name? Oh. Uh, sorry, uh, doctor, it's... <laughs> Busting your balls, John. Are you Snapchatting? No. Why? You hate that app. I don't hate it. Who's the guy? Why do you assume it's a guy? <laughs> By the way, you're smiling. Really? Mm hmm <laughs> Where'd you meet him? It's not like that. He's just, like, a patient of mine. It's not like that? You won't even Snapchat me. <sighs>
There he is. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> What's up? Good to see you. I made sure I got the boot next to the bathroom for you. What's going on, man? What can I get for you? Uh, do you have dogfish, tweeds, and ale? Absolutely. Perfect. What the hell did you do? <laughs> What's going on? What do you mean? You're you again. Oh, well. I've been seeking help from several different people lately, and they've given me new perspectives. Mm -hmm. So John and new perspectives. You guys mind if we take a picture? What? It's <laughs> a big deal. <laughs> First, you're drinking gluten free beer. Now, you're taking selfies. Who is this guy? Just smile. You're Snapchatting again. What? Oh yeah, um, she's just a friend, uh, my dietitian. Big reason why I'm out here tonight. Slamming hands with your dietitian. Ah, John, you're the man. No, we're not slamming hands. <clears throat> Have you been with anyone since Lisa? It took a while to get over what happened. Dude, what's that mean? Really, guys? She's... Lisa's engaged to me. Oh. I'm happy for her. Wait, that doesn't bother you. Not really. Then you must really have a thing for this dietitian. Man. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Can I borrow this one for tonight? Let me guess. A Snapchat from your patient. Um, guess again. You know, I can tell when you're lying, right? Funny new roommate. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Very much appreciated. You. Shit. Do you have any idea how much bleach I needed to use, asshole? John! Hey! Hey! How are you? I'm great. Thanks to you. That's sweet, John, but you gotta give yourself some credit. I mean, you didn't have to listen to me. <laughs> yeah, well, couldn't have done it without you. So, you've been sticking to the gluten-free? Yeah. Uh, it's not that bad, actually. <laughs> didn't I tell you? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to come by and thank you for helping me get my life back. We should celebrate, then. Seriously? Well, yeah, why not? Is that an ethical patient-physician relationship activity? I thought you said I helped you. Yeah, I did. Well, then, as far as I'm concerned, you're no longer a patient of mine. <laughs> Unless you beg to differ. <laughs> you all right? She asked me out on a date. Did you do this on purpose? I'm not sure what you're asking, John. The dietitian. The one you recommended I go see. Still don't get what you're trying to blame me for. Is this a setup? Like, are you paying this beautiful woman to pretend to like me to lift my spirits or something? If you believe that, there's the door. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just freaking out. It's been a long time since I've been on an actual date. You know, when I was young and I had a date planned, I used to always tell myself this. She's probably just as nervous, if not more nervous, than you are. So, just relax and enjoy your time with her. This is a nice place. Glad you like it. I have never heard of such a thing. A gluten-free bar? Yeah. Have you been here before? No, my roommate told me about it. 
Well, tell her thanks for looking out. <laughs> Hi guys, that'll be $16. Great, can you keep it open? I sure can. Thank you. You know I can't let you do that. And why not? I can't let you pay, we're on a date. That's not what I do. Who said this was a date? <laughs> Salute. That beer was pretty delicious. <laughs> Do another one then. Is that an order? It might be. Excuse me? Can we get another round? For sure. Thank you. You wanna hear something funny? I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I must be uh, drunk. <laughs> um, so I used to spend like four hours a day on the toilet. That's like 61 days a year. So let's so say I lived at like 80, right? I would have spent 13 hours, 13 years of my life on the toilet. Well, sounds like your life was pretty shitty before you met me. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. 15 years, huh? You've really given us a lot of thought. Yeah, I have, but uh, thanks to you, I don't have to worry about that anymore. I haven't been drunk in so long. I hope I don't puke. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should get a bite to eat. Oh, that'd be amazing right now. Yeah, okay. Uh, where do you want to go? Uh, I don't know. What do you want? Uh, I, I, don't, I have no idea where it's nearby. If you could have anything in the world right now, what would it be? Uh, well, kind of a far drive. But my mom makes the best meatballs. <laughs> I haven't had them in forever. Uh, let's go. We've been drinking. Well, just get an Uber. Okay, uh, but you have to let me pay. Is that an order? <laughs> it's kind of late. Are you sure she's up? She never sleeps. <laughs> kick you in the balls. Come on. Sean? Hi, Mom. It, it's almost 3 a.m. Is everything okay? I'm, I'm sorry we woke you. This was a bad idea. Who are... Uh, the back door... John! <laughs> What is going on? Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. Uh, this is Aubrey. We were out drinking and we got hungry. <laughs> Where's the car? Uh, we got a ride. John, why are you bringing this beautiful young woman to your mother's house at 3 a.m.? What is wrong with you? Well, no, he, he convinced me to, to come and try your meatballs. He said they were to die for. He said that? Oh, come on in. Come on in. Thank you. My son hasn't eaten my meatballs in years. He says they make him fart uncontrollably. <laughs> Mom. What? I'm just saying you must be someone very special, honey. So, um, so John doesn't normally bring women home to try his mom's meatballs? Oh, are you kidding? He hasn't had a date in years. And even when he was engaged, he refused to eat them. You're engaged? A uh, few years ago, yeah. You didn't tell her? No, it's, it's okay. <laughs> oh, no, no, she, she wasn't right for him. You didn't like her? When she was around, John had to put on this act. What do you mean, put on that? He refused to tell her about his condition. His IBS? He told you about his IBS. 
and he didn't even mention he was engaged. <laughs> Quite the conversationalist, John. She was my dietician. That's how we met. Yeah, so he kind of had to tell me. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Well, you ought to be glad that marriage got called off, because I think you found quite a woman. <laughs> Can I ask why it got called off? It was <clears throat> just bad timing. Yeah, yeah, no, no, right. <laughs> oh, sorry. It was <laughs> we should head out. It's, uh, it's getting late. <clears throat> oh, uh, okay. oh, no, 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 already, no. <laughs> They were perfect, thank you. I'll have to come back for oh, more. Oh, stop by any time. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, I like her. I like her. I really like her. I like her, John. I had a really good time with you tonight. Me too. Sorry about my mom. <laughs> Are you kidding? She's so funny. I'd like to see you again. Well, I kind of like to keep seeing you right now. If, if that's okay. <laughs> oh. It's just been a long time since I've enjoyed a night out with a guy. Really? How come? Most guys just try to get me drunk and beg me to come back to their place. Oh. I don't go. If you're wondering. And anyways, you haven't made me feel like that. Well, that's because this isn't a date, right? What would you say if I asked to come back to your place? You live here alone? Yep. No roommates? Just me. Lucky you. <laughs> Something the matter? You're just not what I'm used to. <laughs> Is that a compliment? You gave me a water instead of a beer. Shows you care about my well-being. Well, I'm just trying to help with your soon-to-be hangover. <laughs> <sighs> your hands feel nice. Don't be shy now. No, no, leave them on. Sure. Get over here. Oh, you seem so weak to me. Any comments? Um, tougher. Mm. 
Magnum, huh? They were handing them out at the high school for the students, and they had some leftovers, so I took a few. Plus, I think it's just like a marketing ploy about them being bigger anyway. <laughs> okay, can I put them on you? Uh, yeah. Take them off. Is that good? Yeah. Aubrey? Morning. How can I help you? You're, uh, you're John, right? Yeah. Great, I thought I had the wrong address. What's this about? I'm delivering a new mattress. What? Uh, there must be some kind of mistake. I didn't buy a new mattress. This is your address, right? Will you excuse me for a minute? Look, man, I got other deliveries to do. I'm sorry, I can't take it. Hi, Mom. Did you get home okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So when do I get to see her again? I'm not sure, really. What did you do? 
What? Well, uh, did you have an accident? No. <sighs> Thank God. Yep. So why do you sound so down? I'm just tired. Well, give me a heads up the next time you bring Aubrey over, because I barely had enough meatballs. Can I call you later? I'm in the middle of something. Are you on the bowl? The bow? Wait, wait, wait. On the porcelain throne? Wait, John, I got some new ones. Um, the crapper? The thunder box? <laughs> the, um, plug up the plumber? And wait, 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 this one. The crow's nest. John? John? So the wife says I need to cut back on the bacon. Increases my chances of a heart attack. Did you tell her that's why you were eating it? She didn't find it funny. <laughs> hey, look who it is. Hey, fellas. Hey, how's it going? It was going well. It was. Sounds like you met someone. She's perfect for me. So, oh, what happened? I can't get a hold of her. That's typical. You better get used to that. We had a great night the other night. I mean, we ate meatballs at my mom's. They got along. Oh, so she met your mother. Yeah, I know, but I didn't plan on it. Maybe that's why. No, no, I don't think so. You sure? She has to come over to my place after we left my mom's. Did you nail her? We had sex, yes. Maybe she thought you were awful in the sack. She had an accident. Like a feminine accident? Who? Were you doing her in the back door? No. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me you plowed the crap out of her? Like when you're in a bar with your friends and you say, I picked up this chick the other night and I fucked the shit out of her? You literally did that. Technically speaking, I guess, but that's besides the point. Man, I got some stories from my younger days, but that one takes the cake. Gibbs, shut up. You were married when you were 18. Hey, me and Nancy were swingers in the 70s. Those were the days. I just want to tell her that I don't care about what happened. I really don't. I think you just need to give it time. Think about how embarrassed you'd be. You'd be doing the same thing. Have you slept in your bed since? Not yet. You need to buy new sheets. Well, at least you two have something in common. This might sound crazy, but a part of me thinks this whole thing is a setup by my therapist. What are you talking about? I think my therapist paid her to go out with me to make me feel better about myself. And to sleep with you and to shit in your bed? Come on, man. She was amazing. I could never get a woman like that. Yeah, well, with that attitude, you won't get anyone. Seriously, though, I mean, the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. She goes out with me, boosts my confidence, has an accident. I realize I'm not the only one capable of having one, and boom, I'm cured, <laughs> courtesy of Dr. Ben. Okay. Even if it was true, you're never going to be able to prove it. True. Unless you bored it in your file or something. You think it'd be that stupid? Hey, sometimes smart people are capable of stupid things. Thanks for seeing me on such short notice. I take it by the look on your face, the date went well? I guess I should be thanking you, right? I beg your pardon? Well, you gave me your business card. I would have never met her. Well. You don't know that. You may have bumped into her at the grocery store or something. Grocery store. <laughs> Good one. So will there be a second date? I haven't heard from her. But that's okay. 
I'm sure I'll figure out why sooner or later. I like that positive attitude. Something tells me she wants nothing to do with me, though. How do you figure? Well, <clears throat> she had an accident in my bed. In your bed? Yes. So you've already had intimate relations with her. You want to know what bothers me the most, though? What? She had a new mattress delivered right to my door the next morning. The very next morning. Why does that bother you so much? It's like she's saying, I want you to have no memory of me. Ah, I see. Yeah. Well, maybe she was just trying to be considerate due to what happened. I don't know. You mind if I get this? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. No, no, don't, don't call the police. I'll be right out to speak with her. Yeah. So one of my regulars out there, she's a little, uh, <whistles> give me two minutes. John. So it turns out I was right after all. How'd you find out? I didn't, but they're meeting later tonight. I'm gonna crash their get together. You want me to come with? This could get ugly. No, I'll be all right. John? Just the two people I wanted to see. What are you doing here? You two are something else. You know that? Okay, listen. No. You are going to listen to me talk. Both of you. Did you really think that this was going to help? Paying someone to pretend to like me? Pathetic. I trusted the bullshit that came out of your mouth. Look at me. That's the least you could do after all this. I deserve that much. Is your name really Aubrey? 
Are you even a dietitian? Or are you just some dumb bitch who gets paid to sleep with his patients? That's enough. I'm not done. I thought I found someone that I could be honest with. I feel like such an idiot. I can't believe some of the things I told you, but I'm sure he already told you those things anyway, didn't he? You already knew what happened at my wedding, right? That's why you had an accident in my bed to make me feel more normal. Great. Go ahead and leave. That's what you're good at. You forgot something. What are you doing? I want to see how much you paid her. I need you to be very careful with that, please. That's very important to me. Why should I care about how you feel? What's this? Those would be pictures. Why would you be handing Aubrey an envelope full of pictures? Well, her mother and I are celebrating our 15th wedding anniversary next month. We're going to get her one of those digital frames. Come again? Digital frame. Aubrey's your daughter? Step. But yes, I consider her my daughter. Who's the pathetic one now? Hey man, not so good. <laughs> Terribly. Not exactly. I used to think my biggest fear was having an accident. Turns out I'm terrified that someone could actually like me for who I am. Nah, I just need time to myself. surprise for you. It's your favorite. Oh, no, I ate before I got here. John, it's my birthday. All right, I'll have one or two. What is this? You don't like it? No, it's good. It just tastes differently than it does normally. These meatballs are gluten-free. What? Aubrey came over the other night asking for my recipe. She wanted to make a gluten-free version. Aubrey was here. She told me what happened. She told me what you said to her. She told you what happened. You know, I tried to be the cool mom while you were growing up. But John, I did not raise you to call a woman some dumb bitch. I know. I screwed up. Damn right you did. And, um, thank you for the card. Welcome. Hey, 
Hey, wait, don't hang up. Are you busy? I just want to get something off my chest. What about tomorrow? Okay. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Have a seat. I... I can't stay long. That's fine. So? How are you? Fine. You? Life's been interesting. <laughs> um, I'm teaching again. Eating different. Spending less time in the bathroom. <sighs> John, please. Sorry. There's something you should know. I'm engaged. That's great. I'm happy for you. Wait. You mean this wasn't an attempt to get back together? What? We haven't talked in two years. What else could be the reason? I just wanted to thank you. Thank me for what? For calling off our marriage. Depends on what's inside the bag. Well, I figured since you wouldn't accept the mattress, you at least accept new sheets. Oh. Can I come in? Sure. I want to apologize for what I said. It was wrong of me, and I'm sorry. It was really hurtful. But I thought about it, and I shouldn't have been ignoring you. My mind was going crazy. I, I just wanted to tell you I didn't care about what happened in my bed. Was that really true about what happened at your wedding? Fortunately, yes. Fortunately? I would have never met you if it didn't happen. Oh. Well, in that case, I'm happy too. <laughs> How long have you had IBS? <laughs> Who says I do? Well, my mom said that you came over the other day and wanted to get her recipe. She said that you were trying to make a gluten-free version, so I just pieced everything together. Sorry, I should have been up front with you. It's okay. I was diagnosed freshman year in college, and it's the main reason why I became a dietitian. Seems like good enough reason. What do you say we unpack the groceries and break in your new sheets? Well, I didn't buy any cold stuff. <laughs> Where are you going? I was really cozy. <laughs> There's just one thing I gotta do. Mm. I'll make us some breakfast when I get back. Okay. Mm
What are you doing here? I'm not even open yet. I want to ask you something. What is it? Why didn't you just tell me that she was your stepdaughter before I said all those awful things? I wanted Aubrey to see that you actually cared for her. Because I knew you did. You ever been to Greece? What is this? For you and your wife. <laughs> this trip had to cost you a fortune, John. <laughs> Let's just say it was already paid for. There's no other way to properly thank you in my mind. Hey. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm sorry. I wanted to surprise you at breakfast, but as you can smell, that didn't really work out too well. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for what? For, for this? For being everything my life ever needed. <laughs> 